All right, now we're gonna show you how to drill into the metal so that you can cut out different shapes. Now we have this drill set up and it's actually uh, hooked to the flex shaft and it has a pedal down here so that you can use both your both hands. Now this pedal, just like a gas pedal, the, high, the, the harder you press in, the faster the motor goes. So if I press down all the way, or I can press down just a little bit and barely turn it. Okay, so this is the drill setup. Now what we're gonna, I'm gonna show you right here is how to t uh, change the, the drill bit. You have this chuck here, and you're going to position the chuck if the drill bit, uh, you need a bigger drill bit or a smaller drill bit or it breaks. You'll just put that chuck in there, twist it, lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, and it'll fall out. And then you'll slide the new drill bit in and you will tighten it. And then you just put it back. Now the drill bit's ready to go. Uh, it's time to drill these pieces of, uh, to drill these holes. Now you wanna mark where your uh, drill, you're gonna put the drill uh, bit. Now to help mark it so that the bit doesn't skid all over the place, you're gonna take this, uh, this little punch and you're going to press it where the X is or if it's on your piece wherever you want to drill the piece and what you'll do you'll push it you'll just hold it down and push and it'll snap and it made a mark right there and you'll do this through seven eight nine anywhere you want to drill now there is another way you can use a screw and you can just get a hammer and a screw and you'll just hit it and now we have marks where we're gonna put the drill bit and that's so that the drill bit once again doesn't skid all over the place now it's time that we can drill just like before on the saw blade we used uh, beeswax uh, or uh, synthetic lubricant because it's metal on metal and it just helps it uh, work a little bit better. So I'll start the blade and I'm actually going to just slowly and I just slowly work the beeswax in. It gets on the blade and now it's good to go. Now when I do this, I'm gonna hold, really cl hold my metal tight so it doesn't spin or it doesn't spin anywhere. And I'm going to slowly bring down the bit to where the hole is press down and you'll feel where you'll feel when it breaks through the other side and then I'll raise it up slowly. You don't want to just let go of it. Okay? If for some reason something happens, take your foot off the pedal and uh, and and uh, figure out what's what's going wrong. So we'll start out with 6. So I'll bring it down, make sure it's positioned correctly. I'll raise it up. I'll start the blade. Move to seven. Seven, I'll position where it is. Eight, position where it is, go up, start the blade. And two fingers, I'm holding the metal tight. Press down. You wanna let the drill do the drilling. You don't wanna force it down. So I position it correctly. Start the drill. And now you have the holes ready so that you can now lace your saw through the holes and start cutting out each of these pieces.